the questions to ask the oncologist is, how is my treatment going to affect my potential fertility? And that will depend a lot on a lot of things, but primarily on what kind of treatment they're going to get and what kind of cancer I have. Certain chemotherapeutic agents, chemotherapy, are known to basically kill sperm and eggs so that the chances of that person then becoming sterile is quite high. Some are more like that and other therapies are not. So that's the first risk assessment that needs to be done to see what's the likelihood that I'm going to be sterile at the end of this treatment if, and obviously survive and not be able to have my own biologic child. So that's the first question. The second question is how much time do I have to be able to do this? Because depending on which form you're going to do, you are gonna need some time. For instance, if we're gonna get mature eggs, we have to stimulate the ovary, and that takes a period of time. Also, what kind of cancer do I have? Because some cancers, like breast cancer, are sensitive to the rise in hormones when we stimulate to get eggs. So we have to do special kinds of protocols. It's important that the person getting the treatment bring it up with their oncologist and also to insist that they be referred to a reproductive endocrinologist, the kinds of doctor that actually does reproductive medicine and has a capability of being able to store egg, sperm, or tissue for a future use.